Ross talking about it. Weir is ready. He fires home a fastball at 72, and off we go. The ace of the tournament, again for Gavin Weir, one hit all summer since this journey started for a guy who's typically playing with 14-year-olds. Yeah, absolutely. Torrance is, has their work cut out for them. Spoke to the coaches before the game. They said they're going to have to be patient. They're going to have to be selective. They're going to have to have great plate discipline. But if they see a fastball in the zone, they got to be hacking. Throwing straight ones up there. Those have late life. All gas for a strikeout for Gavin Weir. And it's now 114 outs that he has recorded since the start of this run. 101 of them are strikeouts with his family watching. Yeah, I mean, you see it slowed down. That these California hitters. Three strikes to Andrew Naruki. Strikeout, strikeout. And Gavin Weir is sticking true to four. These are the shadows you're talking about, X. Yeah, you can see it here from light to straight darkness. It's almost like someone's turned off the lights right as soon as he releases. That is tough to pick up. Even tough. Weir is 3-0. And a four-pitch walk. We saw him pitch the first game for South Dakota here. 0-2. Pitch goes to the backstop, call the ball, and Gibson Turner moves up to second and into scoring position. Powerful right-handed hitters. Cut on and miss. Three strikeouts for Gavin Weir here in the top of the first. Yeah, make no mistake, he's coming out with the gas, the petrol, the gasolina. He's coming with everything, and that fastball is moving. Look at this placement right here. Cornette is hanging over the plate, and he can't touch 70 miles an hour. Four up, four down with strikeouts for Gavin Weir working around the walk in the first. The hits here, including a double. And he swings through the breaking ball. That is a nasty curveball for strikeout number five. Yeah, I mean, Dominic was actually on the pitch, and, and really that ball had so much downward tilt and movement to it. You see the rotation. That thing has in a different league right now, the way he's bringing the heat. Bounces this one to first, and Hayden Gorsett has the first out. Whatever he calls it, has so much side-to-side -side movement. He throws it here, it's to second. Kaysen Mettiger throws to first, and Gorsett stayed on the bag. Two down. I mean, first and foremost, you got to credit Mora for putting this ball in play, but then Mettinger had the double clutch, stayed with it, still knew he had time, made a strong throw over to Gorsett at first. Gorsett doing his best job stretching over there. That one stings for a little bit. Gavin Weir's human. Three ground ball outs, still no hits. Gavin's shaking his hitter. Ground ball to second. Kaysen Mettiger makes it four straight ground ball outs, and California getting its second look at Gavin Weir now. We got a win today. Breaking ball is called strike three. Seven Ks for Gavin Weir in three and two thirds no hit innings. Yeah, and we know how well Turner can swing the bat. It's just some coming out so electric that it's almost like you don't know if you're going to pull the trigger on top down through. Swung on and missed. Riley applies the tag. It is 55 pitches for Gavin Weir. Again, the maximum is 85. And so if Gavin Weir ends up with a pitch count in that left column, it corresponds to what day he would be available. So if you go over 65, he's not able to go with this tournament scheduled to crown a champion on Sunday. California offense right now. Kaishu Harrison, the batter, and he takes strike three called on a fastball. Nine Ks now and three in a row for Gavin Weir. A ball that's looking like it's coming so far away and then just ends as a strike. It's pitch number 65. It's strikeout number 10. Four and two thirds, no hit innings. South Dakota up one nothing. If you keep him in, he can't pitch the rest of the way. And here comes Mike Gorsett. Listen to me, okay? Listen, the whole world wants to see you pitch Sunday. Listen to me, listen to me. You're not coming out of this game. 
you're gonna shove it right now. Okay, we got four outs to go, and we're in the championship game this evening. I doubt all confidence in the world that you're gonna show, throw a gem on Sunday. I doubt all confidence in the world that the rest of this pitching staff is gonna come in and do the job. Okay, you be my horse right now. Give me four more outs, and then you hit me a bunch of home runs the rest of the way out. You understand? Let's go right now. Yes, sir. Let's go. You don't know what's gonna happen in these next couple of catches. The fire. It's nasty. Gavin doesn't even know his teammates as well as a lot of the other guys on the team do because he normally plays with 14 year olds. And so he normally pitches from 60 feet, six inches. The coaching staff didn't know how he would adjust to 46 feet in terms of the command and snapping off right. his breaking ball. Right, and he's adjusted quite well. It's a beauty. It's another strikeout. It's 13 and Gavin Weir is one out away from another no hitter. 2-2. Snaps it off for strike three called. The throw to first to complete a no-hitter for Gavin Weir. He is human dominance.